What's up? We got a new show. Yeah, I will be reviewing one of my favorite childhood shows ever. H2O Just Add Water. It was one of my favorite shows as back in 2016. And now, to finally get to review it for you all, hopefully there are some H2O fans out there, because I'm one of them. A dude talking shit about three girl mermaids. Or five, if you count the whole series. There's like five. Three plus four. There's like five in the entire show. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, let's start off with the intro. I just don't do intros, but I love the intro. It's really good. But anyway, this episode starts off with a, with a swimmer. And we see a person, we see a girl coaching that swimmer and telling the swimmer that it's her personal bet. So we see that girl walking down and we learn that girl that her name is Cleo Satori. And she basically the I don't like water character. And we meet the bad boy, Zane Bennett. And he basically tricks Cleo into big he's like, hey Cleo and he's like, hey Cleo and she's like, hey, can you can you help me with this boat? And she's like Okay, Zane, I'll help you with this boat. But then he revealed, and then he's like, oh, and she's like, do you really need the spark plug? And he's like, without no spark plug, no spark. And he's like, why her? And he's like, I didn't see your spark plug. And he's like, because you're here, Cleo. And yeah, so then that's when the best, the edgy character, Ricky, shows up. And she, and she's, and she's like, is this meant to be some sort of rescue? And she reveals that she took the spark plug because Zane Bennett is the worst. She calls him Pig, but he's the worst. So she took his spark plug. And she's like, um, you know, so yeah. So she, so he, she's like, thanks, Ricky. And she's like, she knows her name. And then she's like, then she's like, she's seen Cleo has seen Ricky at school since she arrived, and she meant to say hi to Ricky, but I'm guessing never did. Okay, so then Ricky decides to, you know, turn in the spark plug, and they basically shower Zane with water. It's the best. So then we see the swimmer, who's named Emma, and they're like, em Hey, Emma, do you want to ride? And she's like, Are you licensed? And Ricky says, Are you her mom? Very, very, and then Emma's forced to join because guess what? She's one of the main characters. She couldn't know, but because she's the main character, she has to join. So yeah, so then they run out of water. The the engine stops working, and then they're like, and, and, and they're like, hey, we get pal to the island, and she's like, make island. No one goes there, and Cleo's like, why? And she's like, it's. Then Cleo's like, it's surrounded by sharks and reefs. In mangroves, and, and Ricky's like, I guess it's the only thing we've got here. So yeah, so, so, so yeah, so, so they hang, they hang up, they get, they get to make Island, and Ricky and Emma's like, Hey, Cleo, we're we're we supposed to know Cleo? Ask your friend, and she's, and she's like, How's I supposed to? How was I supposed to know that we were going to get trapped here? And she's like, you're glad I got this. And Cleo's like, Emma's always really prepared. And then Ricky's like, I'm so happy for her. In a really sarcastic way that makes me really like Ricky as a character. So, yeah. So, so yes, yeah. so she's like, what are we supposed to do now? And Ricky's like, um, we could just, we could just draw straws and pretend which one, which one of us will eat? And Ricky, and I was like, hey, that's not funny. So yeah, so Cleo falls into this crevice. Cleo falls into this crevice. And, be, and yeah, she falls into this crevice and, and Emma decides to follow him after her. And then Ricky does, and she's like, hey, you were supposed to come, come get a rope or something. And she's like, why am I a mind reader? And she's like, what rope? Or so, what rope? So, yeah, so then they find it. So, Emma decides to. So, they find a a big uh, volcano. So, she's like, hey, this volcano hasn't erupted in 200 or 4,000 years. I think we'll be safe. So, 
So, um, so yeah. So they said to you, know, so they, so Emma jumps into the jumps into the water, <sighs> dive on into the water, and that's when, and then they're just waiting for hours until. And that's when she's got her, but, so she's like, hey, there's a bunch of women we can all finish, like, down there. And she's like, she can't swim. And she's like, and Cleo's like, she can't swim. And she's like, um, what else choice do we got? So, yeah, so, yeah. But then there, but then a man, but then the form, but then a moon activates and it starts transforming them. And she's like, and she's like, and she's like, wow. And then Emma's like, spooky. So then the water police randomly know that they're there because it's just like, um, how did the Australian Gold Coast wa Gold Coast Water Police know that they're there? So yeah, so then so the next day Emma's on the beach, just swimming, minding her own business. But then she starts transforming. She's the first one to discover that she is a mermaid, and obviously she's a little scared. Then we see Cleo in the bathtub, and that's when she discovers that she's a mermaid. And Ricky's just walking, walking on a lawn one day when a, sp a sprinkler starts sprinkling on her and touches her. And that's when she discovers that she's a mermaid now. So all of our three main characters have discovered that they're mermaids. So they're so they're basically like, what is going on? Why do why are they mermaids? And she's like, is it? and then she's like, Cleo's mom. Cleo's dad's at work and her sister and mom are shopping. So they so they decide to so they decide to go. So then Lou the best the other best character in the show, Lewis shows up. Lewis is one of my favorite characters so far. And he's and and she's like, Hey Lewis, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to cancel our fairy study session. And he's like and Oh yeah. So Cleo's like Lewis, do you know anything about mermaids? And he's like, um, no. So yeah, so then they're like, Cleo, what were you thinking? And she's like, what? And she's like, do you know anything about mermaids? Are you crazy? And she's like, Cleo, we have no idea what's happening to, happening to them. And no one can know until they figure out why. Um... The... Yeah, so this uh, so they decide to, you know, go, so yeah, so she's like, hey, there's only one way to find out, and she's like, how, and she's like, we go back in the water, so Cleo's like, uh, nah, nah, I'm not doing that, so she's like, hey, I guess me and Emma will, so they decide to go, they transform into mermaids, and then we get the first swimming scene, because, guess what, this show's about mermaids, so they have to have a swimming scene, so yeah, so, so Lewis decides to look up some mermaid power, and just got look up some mermaid power. So they decide to look at some mermaid power, mermaids, and he's and yeah. But that's when Zane shows up. And he's basically mad at Cleo because he's like, "Hey, hey Cleo, hey Cleo, my 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 dad didn't like that the water police was knocking on his door." And she's like, "Um, then you shouldn't tell me to keep the zodiac," and and he's like, "I don't like, I don't." I don't like people make me look bad, Cleo. Not even girls like you. And he's like, it's like even from your dad, Zane. It's like you're afraid of him. He's like tough guy. It's supposed to get a protector, have you, Cleo. You and whose army? You know when these Cleo, these Cleo with or without Lewis. And she starts testing out her the water hydrant. And he's like one. Her hand starts moving, and the water. He's like one with or without Lewis. Something bad might really happen to Cleo, and that's when her powers activate, and poof, she is, and she's able, and the water spurts Zane in the face, and and when she and when she stops using the path, stops moving her hand, that's when and Lewis is just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, what did I just see? So yeah, so she's like, uh, guys, I gotta tell you what just happened. So she's like, it grows even. More and she's like, "Where's the extra water coming?" Ricky's like, "Where's the extra water coming from?" She's like, "She doesn't know." But that's when Emma uses her power. That's when it's about to hit Emma. But that's when she freezes it, and she's like, "Did she that?" And she's like, "And 
and Ricky starts using the spider, starts using the Spider-Man power to using the spider symbol, and she's like, and she's like, she's getting tingles, and she's like, why can't I do the cool stuff? And she's like, and she's like, don't let's not call it cool. It's scary. And she's like, and she's like, Cleo. And she's like, Cleo, this is our secret. Our responsibility. And she's like, this secret is just between the three of us. And she's like, and Ricky's like, this doesn't mean we're married, does it? And then, and then was like, um, yeah, that was actually funny. So that was the, that was the first episode of H2O, Just Out of Water, Metamorphosis. I thought it was a really good episode. Introduced all the characters. Well, so far on the totem pole. Ricky and Lewis are my favorite characters. This was a pretty good first episode. As we go on to the 26 episodes of each se of each three seasons, then we'll go on to Make Up Mermaids. I know, different show, but funny. Make Up Mermaids is meant to be a prequel to this, but then the writers decided to make it a sequel. But anyway, once we're doing that show, once once we finish all three seasons of H2O, we'll also be doing that show. I know. You know, it's, it has nothing to do with this show. For some reason, some, Netflix calls it H2, Mako Mermaids and H2O Adventure. Online calls it Mako Mermaids. But, yeah. But this is just H2O Just Have Water. I still thought it was a pretty good first episode for the show. I'm really excited to get more deep into the characters, like... Cleo, for, for the first episode, Ricky's the edgy one, Cleo's the, the, the afraid of water, and Emma's the smart one. And, yeah, but it seems like Lewis is also the smart one, but Zane's kind of the bad boy. So anyway, that's it for the video, and I'll see you next time for more H2O Just Out of Water. That, that's a cool thing. And, and if you want to see more from, if you want to see more of my stuff, go check me on Instagram at Beckham at the White Tiger, Snapchat at the White Tiger, and anything that I do. So please check me out. I don't have a TikTok. I used to. And if I do have a TikTok, I'll tell you to check me out at TikTok at the White Tiger. So, yeah. So anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for some more H2O.